Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about some more interesting keyboard shortcuts that are there and a few different kind of views that we can use. These views will be useful while you are trying to align your objects or move them here and there. So, because moving your objects and placing them in a perspective view is difficult, fine? So, when we do some exercises later on, at that time, it will be more clear why you have to use this views. But try to understand, since this is a two-dimensional plane and if I try to pick up this cube, fine, and uh, move it around, my mouse is only moving in a two-dimensional axis. So, right now, even if I'm moving, I am exactly not sure where it is going is it going in x y direction or is it moving in z direction so placing and uh, relocating objects directly in this view is not very suitable fine or rather precise placement and adjustments are a bit difficult for that there are some views shortcuts and specifically uh, most of the keys that are there in our numeric keypad those are useful one we have already discussed is your key number 5 which changes between orthographic and perspective view or you could use this grid icon here. Okay, so for this activity or this thing, the cube is not going to be suitable. I am going to remove the cube. We all know how to delete it. And in this thing, I am going to add a object called as monkey. The name of this monkey is Suzanne. We'll Try to find out why it's called Suzanne sometime later. Okay, so now we know that zoom in, zoom out, you can do with the scroll wheel. If you have the full fledged uh, keyboard and there is the numeric keypad, you have the plus and minus key from the numeric keypad works as zoom in, zoom out. So minus is zoom out, plus is zoom in. Fine. Then 5 we have already discussed is orthographic and perspective view. Now comes the different views. Whenever we are working with a 3D model, there can be a front view of the object. That means the way you are facing the object. So one of the sides you will consider as front of your 3D model. One will be obviously then left, right, top and bottom. Also while working, we want to switch between these views uh, many of the times. So, the easiest way to remember is that front view is our first view, right? Most, most cases you would want to start with the front view. So, the numeric key 1 from the numeric keypad gives you the front view. Now, when you change to the front view, you will notice in the upper left corner over here, it says front orthographic. So, these views, front view, side view, top view, loft, these views are always in orthographic mode. So, this is my front view and if you want the reverse of this, just use control. So, control 1 will change to the back view, fine. And 1 is front, control 1 is back view. So, we have front and back from 1, starting with 1. Now, if you just look at your numeric keypad and you traverse straight upwards to the last number key that is 7 in your numeric keypad fine so this is the topmost key and this becomes your top view so if you press 7 you get the top view and by now you might be knowing if you press control 7 you will get bottom view so we have this bottom view and this 7 gives us top view and again you will notice that these are orthographic views over here now if you want the side view coming back to the point of front view, one is front view. So, if you traverse towards your right hand side, you will find the key 3 in your numeric keypad. So, 3 is your view for right side. As you notice, the 3 is on the right hand side of front view. So, it is the right and obviously, by now, you know that control 3 will give you the left. So, now we have all the views 1, front, 7, top, 3 right view and with control pressed these will give you the other views okay now you can achieve these same views by going to view and here you can have align view to 
top bottom and so on same things which we had discussed over here right now same thing you can achieve with this gizmo if you notice over here in this gizmo you have x y z and this axis so if you click on this if i click on z this is top view and you will notice it has the opposite view which is so if i click on z again over here it will shift to this minus z so whatever you see over here is the current view similarly x and minus x shows up so minus x can give me this view and this view this view this view and so on right so you can use this gizmo obviously you can just click and drag on this gizmo to get any of the view which will immediately change to a user perspective which you can notice on the upper left corner these views which we were just discussing which you can get from the shortcut or this gizmo you can get it from view and set your viewpoint fine so in viewpoint you will see camera we will discuss about camera later on you have top bottom and so on whatever we had discussed you can see the shortcuts also over here these views you can get it from here okay one more interesting view that is there in uh, this is that while working this so one more view that is there which is quite interesting and while working is called as a quad view where you can get one of your perspective view like this and three more views for top front left right and this you can get with a shortcut key control alt and q control alt and q so here with your cursor in 3d view area press control alt q and you will get the quad view so quad view is basically it gives you one user perspective view fine it's the same object shown from top orthographic left right and so on fine you can work on any of these areas which you like and you can immediately see the effect on different sides while you are working so that you can get a good idea how this is being affected so for demonstration if this is my monkey fine over here and i am making some changes to this particular area fine so i can immediately see what is happening in the different locations or even if i do it in this location i can see the if happening on the remaining one so this particular view is also quite useful while working it's called as your quad view and you can use this as and when you require and control alt q is the toggle key for that so quad view a very interesting view that is there so these are the views which we can use for our different purposes